Hi once again, welcome to episode 778 and the topic today is the freedom of choice or freedom to choose. That includes the freedom, to, that includes the choice to walk away. I'll get it right in a minute. So we're going to talk about choice today in case you didn't figure that out. Um, particularly in the area of relationships, but it actually applies to all of life and I'll get to that in more detail in a moment. Before I jump into all of that, let me choose myself so you know who I am and why I do these talks and maybe why you want to tag along in this little chat. Uh, my name is Barry Sobey. I am a best-selling author of the book 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a powerful book for couples and singles and men and women about relationships and love and self-support, etc., etc. I'll leave the link in the comments at the back end, by the way, so you can check it out. I'm also an inspirational speaker and a relationship attraction expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which informs my work and why I'm so passionate about supporting women in their, in their lives and in, life, in business and life and love. Life, love, yeah, all those three. And also what started these talks over two years ago called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. So today we're episode number 778. So 800 will be next month. So I'm just, I'm just planning ahead, sorry. <laughs> and every day I do these talks that are ideally informative, inspirational, entertaining, and educational, ideally. Let's see what happens today because he's never scripted. So the topic today is about the freedom of choice and also, or I should say, including the choice to walk away. Now, I'm going to speak about relationship primarily, but I'm already thinking about, well, certain scenarios in life you definitely might think about walking away from because sometimes you think you have no choice. And that's the thing. The focal point about this is going to be the fact that you do have the freedom to choose, even when you don't think you do. So I'll explain that one in a moment. So first of all, let's talk about the dating game, shall we? Um, I actually was reading a post that inspired this talk from one of the groups I belong to that talked about how you hope someone's going to choose you and make you feel like you're deserving and worthy and everything else. Well, the thing is, if you say yes to somebody choosing you, then you have automatically chosen in as well. So it's not just one person choosing another, it's actually a mutual choice. It just may be one initiates choice first. So in the dating arena with dating apps, for example, when somebody swipes or taps or clicks or likes you, whatever the different vernacular of those different apps are, it seems obvious that you can either decline or accept that invitation to communicate, to connect, and maybe progress further. But a lot of times what happens is people say yes, or they affirm or confirm or admit to connect with that person, and they go on a date or two dates, three dates, and three or four months down the road, they've realized they never actually said yes. At least, so to say, then I'm actually intentionally and consciously said yes. It just was like playing it out to see where it went. Meanwhile, the other person's got a big vested interest in it going somewhere. And, the real, and, and there's a reality to this, which is you're on different pages. Don't be afraid to walk away. Now, I'm saying this from the point of view is that some people feel they're duty bound to stay where they don't want to be. One way of saying that is they also tend to have the habit of thinking they have to settle for less than they really want because they don't think they deserve it. And that's not true. And these are some of the things we fall into. So even though you think, well, I've got choice, I can do whatever I want. But when you settle for less than you deserve, you're lying to yourself and you're making a bad choice. Excuse me, you're making a poor choice. Secondly, as I mentioned, if people think they don't believe they can have a chance to walk away, any time you feel like you're stuck somewhere, reconsider your choices because you have them. But sometimes what people do is because something shows up so close to their face or so much in their lives, that doesn't fit what they want, they don't see a way out because they're looking at this wall versus seeing the door right next to it. That's a, that was a metaphor, by the way. <laughs> Just throwing at you without planning ahead. But the reality is that you can, you can always choose the door. You don't have to stay in situations that don't work for you. I'm a passionate proponent of you getting as much as you deserve. However, or and, you need to know that you deserve it. There are people I know who have chosen to be in relationships that sucked over periods of time because they didn't choose for high what they wanted. And part of that was is they wanted to be in a relationship so badly they were settled for less than they really wanted rather than holding out for what they wanted. And this is one of those things that people do, especially when certain periods of life happen where they think they just settle down and have a family. And of course that framing of settle down isn't a very positive affirming or uplifting language either. It's like settle and go down. No. I would say... Um, Think another words for this. Something up. <laughs> Connect up. There's another way of putting it. Rather than settle down. Because the reality of this settling down stuff is people tend to be disappointed. 
which is why a lot of people sometimes get in a place where they have bad relationships, they have divorces, they cheat, they abuse, they hurt, they do different things because they didn't make the other choice, which is say, you know what, this isn't working for me. And the freedom to choose, the freedom of, cho freedom of choice, is something that everybody has. Now, you may be thinking of people you think they're stuck in situations because of their lifestyle or their health or their choices. Here's the thing. The thing you always have choice about is how you respond to something, how you react to something, the um, attitude you have, shall we say. So the thing about this whole point, this, this, this thing about choosing, is we think we may, may have to choose to change everything. Sometimes you need to make a complete change, clean slate, start over, new paradigm, all that stuff, that's great, if it's a healthy choice. But the other part is, even the situations you don't feel happy about, particularly when it comes to family ones, which you sort of can't change really, you can distance yourself, but the thing is in those situations you can learn to see things through a different lens, meaning you can change your attitude to what's happening. That's the choice you have to do. You don't have to sit in a place of funk or upset or anger or whatever that is. You actually can find the key, the keys to the door to open up yourself to freedom, to joy and to acceptance of what's happening, where it still doesn't change what happens out there, but it changes what happens inside. You have complete autonomy, and you may be hearing this for the first time, you have complete autonomy over your own experience. What happens out there does not have to govern or affect how you are inside. The internal process is your choice. Your internal reaction is your choice. The internal, hey cat, nice to see my broadcast. Nice to see, nice to see. and by the way, it's a Facebook Live in case you're watching on YouTube, so that's why I'm saying hi to somebody you can't see. So the ability to be in response to what happens versus in reaction to what happens is that choice of shifting from um, being controlled to being free. And the freedom of choice is that freedom. So having a different choice of how you respond to something, the different mood in reaction to things, a way of actually choosing to be different in, other, in your relationships with other people, not just primary romantic relationships, because I'm going there too, but it could be in your job, in the career you're in. Freedom to choose applies everywhere, including how you look at yourself in the mirror. There are many people I know who, and I was one of them, <laughs> and again, I get a glance of it too, is looking in the mirror can be a challenge. Look in the mirror, you can look at yourself and you can start hearing in your head those judgments other people have thrown at you. Maybe your parents, maybe your siblings, maybe your ex-partners. The choice is you can listen to that or ignore that. And the choice also is you can either believe it or affirm something different which is true about you. When I created my guided self-love meditation, which is mirror-based primarily, it's a mirror exercise, it really was a, the simplest way I could find to help my clients find their way back to actually seeing themselves honestly and in a real way versus what they were told by the people. When you start telling yourself in the mirror that you love yourself, you make a lot of other voices chattering in your ears denying that. Keep going. The self-love practice that I have is, is intention, intended to be a 30-day practice because it doesn't all happen in one day for most people. Some people do go, yeah, they'll get it, no problem. But most people, it takes 30 days to retrain the internal um, recorded tracks to listen to your own voice, not somebody else's. All of that is part of the choosing part. You have the freedom to choose what happens inside, how you respond to the world, and what you tell yourself. Having freedom to tell yourself affirmative, positive, authentic, accurate, true statements is absolutely always in your, in your grasp, in your ability to do, in your ability to express, excuse me. It is rather simple, really. But most people forget. That's what it is. I keep here reminding you. These talks I do every day aren't just for my own good. They are for my own good, but for other people too. And to remind you that you have a choice in how you respond to the world and how you respond internally to what the world teaches you is where the power really lies. So I'm, I'm adamant about this point because I have so many places in my life where I've realized I had a choice point where I was about to go into a place of default reaction without any choice and go, whoa, hang on a second. I know better. Now, at some points, that used to be really challenging because I'd actually think about it after I'd already committed something I didn't want to do. But now it's much more present for me because I've practiced it. And that's the thing. It's something that you may not get the first time you do it, or the second, or the 50th. But the more you practice, noticing when you get to a point where something happens, you're invited to something, or someone challenges you, you know, situations that aren't working, or the place where you think you can't leave, notice in that moment there is a choice. You have a choice in how you respond, how you react, 
why do you respond preferably rather than react but then also choose to remove yourself so as I said you have the choice to walk away and that's true of any situation even family yes even family you may not need you may not be able to leave, to leave physically but you can certainly leave emotionally meaning that you can withdraw your uh, enmeshment and your emotional um, hooks that are tied into you from your family because most of us have family dynamics where there's a hook inside between you and them which has been going on since you were a kid you have the opportunity at the choice you make to unhook those emotional um, what do we call those things traps <laughs> so to speak from your family because when you do that it frees you up to have all your relationships transform some of the work I do with my clients is to go back into the history to go back to their past because a lot of the um, baggage of the past is what when it's released frees up their future to have amazing relationships relationship is relationship coaching for me the work I do my relationship coaching trying to say it the right way around isn't about finding you the perfect date sorry that's what that's what dating coaches do or matchmakers do I'm about getting you clear inside so when you make your choice it comes from an elevated healthier place hi Martin thank you thank you for thanks for the thanks I'm glad you like what I'm talking about it's that freedom to choose what you want and it's the freedom to make peace with your history so you can have what you really want in life it's fundamental and it sounds so simplistic too but for most people they don't think they forget they don't think they forget they have a choice you have the power to choose every single moment of your life when you're in traffic on the freeway you can be in a place where you don't think you have a choice because somebody's you know cut you up or somebody else has done something to upset you choosing to react I should say reacting without choosing is what a lot of people do road rage is something people do but when you remember you have a choice because you do have a choice you can say you know what that person may be in a hurry with it their upsetness isn't mine I choose to go on and have a nice day they may be heading towards a heart attack because they're so upset and violent don't join them in the game you don't have to again it's a choice so this thing about choosing freedom to choose freedom to leave and choosing to leave is not just about relationships although it's largely about personal relationships that's why I talk about it but this understanding of freedom to choose applies to every area of your life exams rent um, home life retail I mean you go to the grocery store and don't get what you want you choose something else I mean it sounds simplistic to say it that way but I want to say from the ma micro to the macro is that freedom to choose applies to all of your life I hope you get this point I'm trying to, I'm attempting to make this clearer and clearer and clearer of course you can choose not to take my advice I don't recommend that <laughs> I do recommend you actually listen to me more more uh, more regularly you might get some might get some transformational work transformation experiences from my work um, but I'm biased of course but I choose to do this. I mean, I, I didn't plan on doing Facebook Lives initially just to get, I was talking to a friend of mine about this. Um, recently, I was talking to my friend about this. I never planned on doing Facebook Lives. I was inspired by a friend of mine who challenged me to do them. I did it initially back in 2016 as a have to. I, I just had to do something. I was driven to do something. But I didn't have to keep doing it. But I chose because I knew that when I was doing this, it would help me become better in my messaging. It also allowed me to go deeper into my own message so I'd understand more about my work. And also the side effect was I'd offer up a lot of support and inspiration to my audience, which is you. So my choice is to serve this way. My choice is also to have um, my gifts out in the world, my service in the world in the work I do. That's why I'll put some links in the comments room to let you know some things that I'm offering and I'll give you I'll list those in a moment but the thing I want to say is that even this interaction is a choice everything you do everything you respond to everything you say everything you hear you have a choice of what you do with that and that freedom is the freedom to, that's the key to life basically so I hope you take this on as an opportunity to choose more clearly in your interactions to choose what you want to do what you don't want to do and say yes to things that line up for you and say no to things that don't because no is a choice as well and for a lot of people they don't know if they can they don't know they can say no but choice is the opportunity to decide to say yes to something or to say no you can say maybe as well but to choose in or choose out is equally valid depending on what's lining up for you so having the freedom and recognition that you can always say no as a choice that's freedom too I think I've given you enough clues to work with 
<laughs> I'm not gonna do this for you, this is for you to work on, but I trust this made sense to you and give you some keys, some tips, some openings, some insights. This is my passion to inspire you, to give you ideas, some tools and techniques to work with. So this is one of those talks that will hopefully go deeper for you as you listen to it, maybe more than once. A um, couple of quick reminders again, I'll put some links in the comments because I did cover some things that might help you. The self-love practice I mentioned that's gonna be in the comments. It's a guided meditation with audio tracks, so it's my personal voice with some music to help you get deeper into your own self-love practice. My book I mentioned at the beginning, that'll be in the comments too. And two other things I'm gonna add in the comments because I think it's appropriate. One of those is my new group, pro group program I'm launching called Coming Home to Yourself. It's still in uh, pre-launch because I'm waiting for a few more people to sign up. That'll be starting shortly. I'll give you the link to that you check it out. It's a pay what you want start up for this time because it's, it's a beta test, so it's pay what you want. Yes, I said that, pay what you want. That's my choice to do that, your choice to invest. And fourthly, I'll put a link in the comments for a, for a complimentary chat with me, a, a clarity conversation. So we can really, I can get you oriented, see where you are and give you some key next steps, like push you out of the world. Um, but if you want to work with me, I'll show you some ideas how you can do that as well. So that is about it. I thank you for watching. This is my passion to speak to you, to support you, to inspire you, to give you ideas and, and clues, which is why I do this. And I hope it's been of value to you. If you have any questions, thoughts, please put them in the comments. I'll, I'll respond when I sign off. Um, oh, replays. This is my daily Facebook Live, as I mentioned. I do it live on my personal page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replays go to my business page on Facebook, just for easy access, which is barryselby.author. And also for even easier access, I put them onto YouTube. I have a YouTube, YouTube channel called Barry Selby. Please subscribe to the channel. And on there is a playlist called Messages for the Masculine. You can find all my broadcasts from newest to oldest. And also, by the way, my Facebook page, you can like my page too if you wish. Um, that's about it. So four links in the comments, a uh, place you can find the replays, and take this advice to heart. You have choice, you have freedom to choose, and you can choose yes or no any way you want. It's all up to you. So with that, I thank you for watching. I'll be back again tomorrow, same time, same channel, and I invite you to take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.